Coming up today on the Warrior News. We'll have full details on current and upcoming scholarships. Plus, Ryan O'Brien has a very special movie review prepared for today. That and more is up next. The Warrior News starts now. Good morning, Wilson. Today is Monday, December 21st. Winter arrives tonight at 11.48 p.m. and Christmas is only four days away. I am Michael Petrozo. And I'm Isaiah Jordan. The Easton Unico Scholarship is now available. This scholarship is for seniors of Italian origin. Deadline is February 26, 2016. Attention Student Council, just a reminder, there will not be a meeting this week. Mrs. Dorsey would like to thank all of you for your hard work and success so far this year and hope you enjoy your Christmas break. Our next meeting will be Wednesday, January 6. The AXA Achievement Community Award is now available. Go online to axa-achievement.com to apply. Deadline is February 1, 2016. The Da Vinci Science Center 2016 Science Hall of Fame Student Award Scholarship is now available to all grade levels 9 through 12. The deadline is January 8, 2016. The school store will be closed this week and reopening after the Christmas break on Monday, January 4th at 7, 10 a.m. Be sure to treat yourself to one of the new Wilson Warriors sweatshirts, sweatpants, or t-shirts this year. Attention seniors, graduation project proposal sheets are due to Ms. Varga in the library no later than Wednesday, December 23rd. If any senior needs a proposal sheet, please see Ms. Varga in the library during a study hall or before or after school. The students who hand in their proposals early will have first priority when selecting teachers to present to. Star Wars The Force Awakens premiered on Thursday night and has received great feedback from fans and critics alike. But, what's Ryan O'Brien's take on this movie? Ryan is here now with more on that. Hello Wilson, Star Wars The Force Awakens was released December 17th at 7 p.m. in Pennsylvania. I was honored to be a part of the first showings in the state and I can tell you now that this film is something special. Not only is it a masterpiece, but it has redeemed one of the greatest franchises ever put to screen. The film stars Members of the original cast, including Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Anthony Daniels, and Peter Mayhew, as Chewbacca, of course, and newcomers such as Oscar Isaac, Adam Driver, uh, John Boyega, and Daisy Ridley. And the film is written by Lawrence Kasdan, who previously wrote The Empire Strikes Back, which I consider one of the greatest franchise films ever made, and also just one of the greatest sequels ever made. This film really does have a feel as if it is almost like The Empire Strikes Back, which is strange because The Empire Strikes Back, of course, is a sequel to the original Star Wars film. But this film has many similarities to that film, which we will not get into here because we're not going to talk about anything other than the final product. The film was filmed so beautifully and is actually a movie. The film does not feel like it's just there to sell tickets. J.J. Abrams made an artistically sound picture with credit due to George Lucas. He is obviously a fan of the original saga and he wanted to do it justice. He knew what was wrong with it and he got rid of most of the CGI which plagued the prequels. Most things in this film are filmed actually on set in Abu Dhabi, different places around the world. All the characters mostly in the film besides two stand it out that were CGI, everything else is practical. 
The shots, each one is filled with ideas. The simplicity of the shots are filmed with ingenuity of filmmaking that make it something incredibly special. That it's almost comparable to George Miller's Mad Max Fury Road, which was um, a film released earlier this year. Also, the cast oozes charisma. Not only does the old cast do all of their characters justice, but the new cast, specifically Daisy Ridley and Oscar Isaac, were absolutely incredible and welcome to this universe. They brought something so special, and I cannot thank them enough for making this such a special movie. Anyone who has not seen the Star Wars movies, please check them out. Anyone who has ever doubted this series because of the prequels, go and see this movie. You will be proved wrong. This film is a masterpiece, and I consider it one of the greatest franchise films ever made. Not only one of the most powerful movies ever made, and it has made me happier than I can even imagine. And I'm so glad J.J. Abrams has brought this series back. Star Wars The Force Awakens gets a 10 out of 10. Thanks, Ryan, for that great review. It was well done. Well, that's all we have for today, Wilson. I'm Matea Jordan. And I am Michael Petrozzo.